Appreciate you guys being here now or later. Um, you got sound? Yeah, well, I'm just waiting. It takes about 35 seconds for sound. Um, All right. Of course, it's not going to. Yep, we're okay, good. Okay, we're, we're good. good. We're good. I'm going to get. I'm going to get into this. Excellent. All right. On last night's video about the, let me address this first. I said three days. I misspoke. I'll do that when I go for 25 minutes or half an hour speaking uh, extemporaneously. A lot of, lot of, a lot of syllables there. But. And I put this in quite a few comments, but I, don't, I want you guys to understand that are watching the channel. I don't ever just say things just to get a rise out of people. Mm -hmm. I, I misspoke. It was actually, if you want to go back and listen to that, that stream about 45,000 more times, I also misspoke on a few other things. They were so minor, though, you probably didn't even notice. But that happens when I'm processing all this, inf this information and I'm dealing with my congestive heart failure. So, but I will say this, I do identify, I'm gonna start off with this, I do identify as a three day, three days of darkness. I do, and you can't change that. You can't, that's what you're being told. I can identify whatever I want to identify as, and you have zero say in that. And if you try to tell me that that's wrong, let me, let me, uh, let me make this larger. If you try to tell me that's wrong, you're being unfair to me, which kind of sets up this whole stream tonight. It does. Because I've done a little research today, and it's actually a little bit frightening. The stream is not meant to trigger anybody. It's not meant to upset anybody. It's just information that I'm passing down the line to the people that watch this channel. Mm -hmm. I want to start off with, because what doesn't make any sense to me is this DEI, came out of nowhere to me. I, I didn't know it was a thing. Uh, it's apparently been around since 2011, 2012. That might be a surprise to some of you folks. It's been instituted across the board since about 2015. And again, I might be misspeaking. I covered a lot of ground today doing some research because the new thing is mm -hmm. the other side that totally supports that DEI they're now saying if you say DEI, you're really just trying to say the N word, but you can't. And I'm like, that's that's so absurd to even say that. It's just beyond belief. But again, they have all the voice now. That was the whole purpose of all of that. The it's pitting Americans against Americans. It's pitting cultures against cultures. It's pitting religions against religions. And the people that are in power truly are sitting back just laughing. Because let me ask you guys this, and to, if, if I'm wrong, put it in the comments down below. Who has benefited from every single war ever held since they were instituted? Who? Because there's one organization that's benefited from every single, they benefited on both sides, both sides since they were put in place. Yeah. So they, they want division. They want chaos because the more chaos, the more division there is among people, among citizens of their country, which is what's happening in America. Now, the more there is, the more they have to spend. You know, I saw today, and I didn't have this on the stream tonight, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead off with this too. I saw today one of the, one of the, uh, the people that welcomes the newcomers to Denver, wink, wink, nod, nod. And they have a video of him on camera saying, listen, we don't have any more help for you folks. You need to go to New York City and Chicago. That's where you're gonna get the most, the most finances, you're gonna get the most healthcare, you're gonna get the most benefits for rent. You're gonna get a lot more money from them because right now the newcomers that are in Colorado, which they're saying is only about 40 or 50,000. I don't believe that triple that number. They're saying that that's already almost 18% of the budget for the year. Now, when they say budget, every tax paying American needs to understand they're saying 18% of what you pay in the taxes goes towards that. You didn't vote for it. You didn't ask for it. You probably don't want them on your street sleeping, but you didn't have a choice. 
So let's start off with this, DEI. I'm gonna start off with two videos first to set this up, but I'm gonna tell you every one of the DEI hires, you know how when, when cows are being, like they're being gr groomed for slaughter, you might not know that. You might not know the steps, but they, you know, they, they bring them into a chute in, in the pasture every year and they do, they do uh, what am I thinking of, vaccines? <laughs> they do vaccines. <laughs> And, you know, give them their, their, their yearly shots. And then they also tag the cows on the ear. A lot of these farmers either tag the cows on the ear or they put a brand. Why do they do that? They do that so that it's easier to track you or the cow. You're, you're now euphemistically being called the cow. I'm calling myself the cow, so don't take offense. But you're now branded. You're now marked. You have a, a tag in your ear. You have a brand on your buttocks. Buttocks. With all that being said, and I had a point I was going to make, this happens late in the day. I'm going to show these two videos because I had a point about the cow. See what happens? This is congestive heart failure. This is exactly what it is. Well, I'm going to help because we had this conversation. I don't remember what it's about. <laughs> well, we covered a lot of ground. Let me show you these videos first. Let me show you these videos first. This first video, let me put this up. This first video, this is a... And this is, this is a real thing. This is a real thing. This is a uh, girl in Florida. She gets, she gets uh, stopped by the police coming out of a Walmart. And let me make sure you guys can see it. Let me put it up on the screen. Let me put it up full screen. Then I'll make that, that video full screen. She comes into a Walmart. She runs in with a cart and she steals she grabs a cart and she steals tons or takes tons and tons and tons of stuff and she runs out the cops pull up and then this is her this is a, this is a grown woman she looks like she's in her mid-20s this is a grown woman in america you have cops all around you and this is her demeanor and she doesn't sound like she's currently on a pharmaceutical let me just play this let's just get to it on this one because the cow story is really bothering me Watch let me get by this. Hold on. Man, let me get by, this, me get by that. Over in this lane. For what? So, we're doing an investigation right now. Apparently, somebody walked out with a car. car. I put it in a random car? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Okay. Would you come over by the car with us? Oh, whose car is it? What do you mean? Whose car is it? I don't know. Me neither. Okay. All right. So, where's all your stuff you took out of the store? And I just put, put, it, I put it in a random car that was open. In a random car that was open? Yeah. For what? What do you mean for what? Because y'all come, y'all was coming. Okay, so you just put all the stuff in a random car. You didn't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a game I was playing. Okay. Yeah. What for? Um, just for the hell of it. Okay. You got any idea on you? No. All right. I which, left it in the car. Which car? The random car. I don't know what car it was. What color was it? Um, silver. Silver. Gray, something just, like that. So you left your ID in some random car? Yeah, my whole bag, all my shit. All right, makes sense. What kind of bag do you have? Um, what kind of I think it's. I think it's a Michael Ford. Can you please not stand behind me? Because you make me nervous. I don't know the whole time. You are? Uh, yeah, he's in a car. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> what was your question? What kind of purse did you have? It's a Michael Kors purse. Can you go get it for me? Okay. What kind of vehicle were you driving? It's like gray or silver or something. What kind of make? Model? Um, I don't know. You have no <laughs> idea what kind of car you No, driving? because y'all were coming and I just ran up to the car and put it on. It's a payment I replay. It's called 21. It's basically like you go and steal all the shit that you can steal and then you get out without getting caught. So well, I did it one other time than this time, but I got caught this time. So. Now I gotta figure out where my purse is and where my merchandise is because now I gotta give all the merchandise back to Walmart. Well, it's not really a game. Yeah, it is a game. It's theft. To you, that's theft. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's fun too. It's really fun. Oh, going to jail is fun. Okay. Well, I suppose. Am I going to jail? Whoa, well, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna stop it there just for a second. We're gonna play the last portion of this. I don't wanna play the whole video. This just happened, by the way. The, the timestamp on this video was 325 2024. She actually, and again, this 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 girl would, could be a girl that stopped in to, you know, apply for a job at a dealership. I, I you know, I, I used to help run. Um, could have been coming in applying for a gig because she doesn't sound like she's wacky on anything. Mm -mm. But she admits that she's done this before. She admits this time I got caught. She says, "Well, I put all my stuff in a random car because I saw you guys coming." This, this is what this is what. 
people are walking around. They're walking around you all day long. They're in Walmart next to you. They're in the shopping centers next to, next to you. When you're walking down the road, they're walking right by you. She ends up, and I, I've got this pinned in the description. I'm just going to tell you what the rest of the video is. She ends up telling the police, well, it's our rental car. I put everything in. She has a boyfriend who's more mature than her. She says, well, I put it in, in our rental car. It's our rental car. And the cop goes, well, why did you lie to us? She said, because I, I did. I lied to you. She said, it's in my in our rental car. And uh, it's all there. It was over $1,000. She got charged with that. But in her mind, the whole thing was funny. And I look at stuff like this, and this is very mild. I know it's very mild, but I don't know if she's watching all the current people running into these businesses, taking stuff with nothing happening to them. Mm -hmm. And she's running out thinking nothing's going to happen to me. I'm good. Nothing's going to happen to me. Is that, is that what this is? Is that what, is this what that's causing? People are seeing that they can run into stores, take stuff, just walk out the front door. No one does a thing and nothing happens to them. Because that's the America you now live in. That's the DEI cities you now live in. Okay? Let me show you this next one. I know what I was going to say about the cows. They mark the cows. Right? They mark the cows with the, with the thing on the ear or the brand on the butt. They mark them. Well, DEI marks everybody they hire. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. They, they get a, the, every company that, that employs a DEI hire they get almost $10,000 of a tax write-off and they get write-offs every year to the, to the business structure of that. I thought that was Chewy coming in. Suddenly. They, did. They, get, they get a tax write-off of that employee. So now if you go into a company and you get hired because of DEI, you have a tag on you. They look at you and they see money. You might not be the best. You, you, you probably are not. You might not be the smoothest, the quickest, the fastest, the most mentally agile, the best with people, the best with their company, but they have a benefit they get from you. Of a diversity, huge... equity, and inclusion. So let's, let me play this. This next one's funny because here's the thing. We're all being told you can't do a doggone thing when somebody tells you who they identify as. And listen, I don't care. Mm. I don't care. But when you say that to me, when you say that you're this, you're that, and in my mind, it's obvious you're not, but you believe it. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to call you names. I'm not going to, but what does happen, man, they come back at you and us is with, with vengeance and vile and uh, the, in my mind, the, you know, a little bit of demonic activity comes out. Mm. It's funny though, when you come across a video like I'm about to show you in this next video should answer all your questions about what diversity, equity and inclusion really is because it's really not on your terms. It's on whatever, whoever's in charge tells you it is. And since you're not part of that crowd, you don't have any voice in who they tell you you are. Even when you identify now again, was this was this next video? Was it a, was it a joke video by the kid? I don't know. He wasn't joking. He was he was sitting there, you know, saying what he did, saying what how he identified, and he got booted out of the group. Let me show you the video. Here we go. Let me put this up for you. This this is so beautiful because it proves that it's not really about any of that. This is really about they have all the control. They meaning. Who's setting the narrative? Let me put this on full screen. Let me put this on full screen because I identify as a basset hound and you guys can't tell me different. Okay. <laughs> let me, let me reverse this up so you guys can start it from the, you can see it from the beginning. Okay. It's big. Here we go. Here we go. This is not a long video. It's only about a minute. This is a queer fat club. Um, I'm, I'm queer and fat. Okay. Thank you for joining. We're just um, introducing ourselves at the moment. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Joe? Yeah, uh, my name's Joe. I go by he, they, and uh, I identify as 275 pounds. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like Jay's kind of making fun of me, though. I know it's kind of a shock. I know, kind of a new thing. I'm, I'm just, you know, monk. Do what? I said I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Um, Are you comfortable leaving the group at the moment? Why? Why? I, I'm not understanding why you're joining the group. This is the queer and fat group now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I came here for. Okay. Um, and you said you identify as fat? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, this is just for fat bodied people. Yeah, I understand. I, I identify as a fat bodied person. I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Are you guys comfortable with me here? I mean, I'm pretty chill on my end. I'm not comfortable. No. Can we take like a vote? I'm going to ask you to leave. Now, let me let me put us back up on the screen because you guys need to see more hurricane. Um, it's well. They decide who you're not. You can't decide who they're not. Wasn't there a thing this week where or actually two weeks ago in Planet Fitness where a dude was in the women's bathroom? And man, people lost their minds. People lost their minds that a woman actually was mad about that, that a, a man was in her space. With his foot up on the on the and I don't know, I don't know the whole backstory, but she has a video of him in her bathroom. If it was my wife, if it was my daughter, I would have a problem with that. But they can tell you who you're not, but you can't tell them who they're not. And that's what's happened. And then you say, Well, why Red, why did this DEI, where did it come from? Like, what how did this happen? How did we get so far down? This has been going on since 2011, 2012. Did you guys know that? I think it kind of slipped in there, wasn't it? You know? Uh, who's, who's, hey, let me, you guys, come in, come in, come in. Who, who was the president in 2012, 2011? Come in, come in. I saw a video this week. I'll try to find it, put it up. 44 and 43's wife was doing a Zoom video with, uh, Wade, the basketball player, with his son, who now identifies as a woman, Dwayne Wade, phenomenal athlete, Dwayne Wade, and 43 and 44's wife was on that video talking to Dwayne Wade's boy daughter. And the daughter said, well, you understand what I'm going through. You, of, of anybody, talking to 43 and 44's wife. And it took about a half a beat and 43 and 44's wife said, I, I don't really understand. No, because see, if she says you're right, I do understand what you're going, because all that, I don't know what's true. I just know that all of this, when you tell me you can identify however you want, fine, leave me alone. If I want to say I'm a white Christian male, you can't hold that against me. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't. And if you do, that's as unfair to me as you telling me that I have to let you identify however you want to identify. It's got to it's got to be quid pro quo. It's got to be. Then okay, let's put this up. Let's put this up because I'm I'm going down the wrong path there because I, I I like my channel and I like talking to you guys, especially on a Sunday night. Let me put this up. Um, this was the search I did today, and again, you've only got a couple places to go to find this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got to you know I can I can use other search engines. Yeah, I can. Let me put this up on full screen. Okay, do companies get federal subsidies for supporting DEI? Yes, they do. When you read through these links, and I've got these links in the description, this first one here, and I'm not gonna read it because I'm gonna cover, cover this whole page in one second. This first one, yeah, you get up to almost to 10 grand per person you hire, okay? Do companies get incentives? Yes, it counts as a one-time tax credit that you can receive once for each new hire, right? It's roughly an $8 billion a year benefit overall to companies. Or pardon me, they spend, pardon me, they spend over $8 billion a year. Pardon me, I read that wrong. They spend over $8 billion a year on this training. And again, I don't care, but when you tell me I can't participate because I am whatever. Not the EI. <laughs> yeah. They claim that diverse companies earn 2.5 higher cash flow. I don't know how I, I could handle hiring people to come in and tell me I had to call them they, them. I mean, you've had HR people on TikTok say, listen, we don't ever hire people to come in and tell us what their pronouns are like that. We just don't mess with it. What are the financial benefits of DEI? They claim it, it increases, and I'm gonna read both sides of the, of the aisle here. It increases profits and reduces the high costs associated with disengagement and turnover. I would think what you're gonna do is you're gonna disengage and turn over the people that are your better workers, is how I would read that, okay? That's how I would read that. Um, using DEI for tax breaks, 
the worker something OTC that that's that's part of what's up here on this this top link. And it's also linked in the description of the video. The WOTC can reduce the amount that an organization owes the IRS at tax time. Using this WOTC in conjunction with your DEI plan, your organization can increase diversity and get a substantial tax break. It's always about the money. It's always about the money, but you're getting tagged. You're tagging your cows and your cows are who works for you. Um, do, do companies get tax credits for hiring through the DEI program? Yes. $9,600 per hire to hire these folks. $9,600. Unless, unless, well, you're not going to get hired if you're, uh, you know, if you're the wrong, if you're the wrong mix. Now, let me say this. Let me take that off the screen because we're going to, we're going to probably get close to ending up here. We've been going for 21 minutes. You guys are so chatty. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I've said this my whole life, and I've also said this on the channel. I don't care how you identify. I don't care what you do with your life. Just don't affect me and my family. Don't put my safety at risk. Don't put my my, my family's safety at risk. You do you. Mm -hmm. You know, you do you. Don't put me at risk. And I'm good. I'm good. I'm not going to judge you. Because, again, I identify as a basset hound. <laughs> and she, she, she believes that. I do. I do. <laughs> so, and you can't change my mind. And I identify as three days of darkness. So if I made a misstatement, I, I identify as three days of darkness. You can't do nothing about you it. You can't do nothing <laughs> about it. I made a misstatement, but I identify in my heart as three days of darkness. <laughs> it's just gotten, and here's the other thing too. It's gotten so bizarre. This whole, this whole thing, this whole, you know, you see today with, with Easter, it's the trans the trans community, which I don't I don't care about. Just don't make it. Just don't put it in my face, and don't don't use my daughter's bathrooms. Don't use my wife's bathroom if you're not a girl. That's I ask that nicely, but they you know they make it the international day of awareness for transgender. I get that, but you know there's 145 or 147. I will find that link of days we now celebrate that mindset. 145, 147, and there's like, there's no shame at all. There's no shame at all by the government that you allegedly voted in saying, listen, we know that you guys, you know, claim you're Christians, Catholics, Protestants, you know, whatever. Well, it's, we're going to, we're going to talk about the 1% of the people across the world today. And actually really more in the, in this. It's probably a whole lot higher now in the last year or two. It's just gotten bizarre, man. It's gotten bizarre. And there's no shame. There's zero shame. And if you talk about it, you're the problem. Mm -hmm. You're the problem. I just find, and you get all these links I discussed, and I'll find the link about the 145, 147 days that are now out of every year are geared towards that community. I just think it's a little bit excessive. I feel like it's being shoved down our throats a little bit too hard, but you know what? We're so far. Think about this. If this has been going on since 2011, 2012, who, who was in office? If it's been going on since that long, what are you going to do about it? You ain't going to do jack. Neither am I. We're going to have to ride this donkey until we get to the end of the road. It, they know everything you do. They track every, they, they, whether they tell you or not, they track every phone. Matter of fact, you know, Newsom putting up those 400, 500 cameras and saying it's going to make you safer. No, it's just going to make us easier to be tracked. That's all. You can have, how much, how much face tracking do they have in China? Oh, everywhere. Every, because you live like, there. Like in, in, every, not necessarily in the rural areas, but in any metropolitan area or city, uh, even suburbs in that, every square meter, every single square meter of CCTV with face tracking and um, everything, you know. You walk into a store, you walk out of a store, you go to check out, you don't check out, they see your face, they know your name, they have everything tracked. And they, they, they've been doing that for like 20, 25 years because it started off with the, like the SARS outbreak and it started off with the swine stuff going on and all of those things way before the, the last few years. Um, and so they had like track, like I've been used to having tracking CCTV in London and, and all in the big towns in Europe, but also in China, when I was living there, you know, you had 
face tracking and CCTV everywhere with temperatures going on and uh, body scans and everything through every airport, every train station, every bus route. Like you couldn't do anything unless you had like uh, ID and and tracking, you know. So and that's just that was just normal life, you know. So. And they can, they, they can right now, they can turn people's accounts off right now. Well, hell, Canada did it during the last truckers strike up there. They, they shut people's bank accounts down. Mm -hmm. Hopel, I think, threatened it in New York. You know, the whole thing. So, is, social credit score. Social credit score. I don't think mine's real high right now, <laughs> especially after this video. But I'll tell you this. I love me some America. I love mm -hmm. me some Americans. I love me some any people that are respectful, friendly, I'm good. You do you, we do us, and we're happy. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Just yeah. don't just don't push your agenda down my throat. And you know, everybody gave Jason Aldean because I like Jason Aldean, especially the song. I forget the song because I got heart failure. Um, but I, I, I love some Jason Aldean. His his dad's actually retired Air Force, and uh, I ran a dealership way back in the day in Macon, Georgia, and he was raised in Macon, Georgia, on the base there for quite a while. But you know, Jason Aldean got a lot of heat over try that in a small town well, let's let me end up with this because again i don't care what race nationality age religion sex you are i don't care who are you as a person and how do you treat me and my values as <laughs> i treat you and your values okay all this stuff going down with this with this 145, 147 days of celebration of that mindset and the school systems, you know, with the multiple bathroom situation. And you might not do it. You might not put it in. But some of you folks that are in mainly Muslim communities, tell me if you guys are doing that there. Because I would bet you if I was a betting man, you guys aren't doing that there. Because you guys all stand, you, you stand together. You know, I would bet you you guys don't. Matter of fact, when they were forcing or they were trying to push down the, the city's throats to fly the specific flag, one of the cities in Michigan said, eh, it's not happening up here. Mm -mm. And they took the flag down because it's mainly a Muslim community. You know, so I, I don't agree or disagree. I just let them. That's your, your town. You guys are voting on that. You do you. Let me do me. My town is my house where I'm with my, my dog and my woman. That's my that's my town. I want I want to be able to control that and be happy in my in my place, mm -hmm. you know. And slowly and surely, it's like, no, you don't have a right to be happy. You don't have it. We're going to tell you what happy is. I don't think so. I'm not saying anything other than I'm not. I'm just I don't want to I don't want to play that game. I don't want to be in. I don't want to be in your circle, your circus. I don't. I don't want to be an animal in your circus if that's how you're going to play. These videos, that kid being told, well, you're not that, so you got to leave. Wait, I'm telling you on that. Why don't you believe me? Because we're telling you you're not that. Oh, we can reverse that. No, you can't, because then you're being discriminatory. Then you're being uh, Pick, pick one of the words that applies it, towards. It kind of sounds like the old little uh, nursery, not nursery rhymes, but the old nursery like stories you had, the emperor's new clothes. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. We're in the days of the emperor's new clothes. What does that mean? Um, and uh, long story short, the emperor was, there was an emperor and he was, uh, a, a person came in and said, look, I can get you some really beautiful clothes. And actually he was naked. And they, they, they did. The Emperor's New Clothes. I'm just laughing at naked. Naked. And uh, the person that came in and they told everybody, you know, this is the Emperor, we have to respect him. And they convinced the Emperor that his new clothes were like this golden thread and this most beautiful linen and everything from around the world. But actually he was naked. And pe some people were saying, oh, are you sure? And like, no, no, no. And so everyone was convinced that the Emperor had some new clothes and they were like the best and the most extravagant in the world. And he was doing a parade down the street and everyone was cheering and everyone was like, oh, wow, the emperor's new clothes, they're amazing because they were all either afraid to say something or they just went along like the 80% versus the 20%. And then a little kid looks at me, mommy, mommy, the guy's naked, naked. <laughs> and uh, that's the moral of the story, but it's 
childhood. I time. forgot about that story, and that's exactly what's mm-hmm, going on. Mm-hmm. Look it up. The Emperor's New Clothes. It's uh, like the nursery rhymes, you know, like Ring a Ring of Roses and all that stuff. And it was a story that we learned as kids, you know, that it's good to tell the truth and not lies. And I'll leave it at that, you know. I just looked up online while you were talking, mm-hmm. and it is illegal in this city to have eyes as blue as yours. So I got I got to go do, go do a strip search now. <laughs> you guys be good. You want to say goodbye in Chinese? I've got to arrest her and do a strip search. You want to say goodbye in Chinese? Oddly enough, in yes. Chinese. Yes. <laughs> goodbye. Uh, God bless you and good evening. Zajian, Jufu Niman, Wan An. You guys be good. Please, just like the bottom of the screen says, subscribe, like, comment. Share the videos if you're getting some value. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys being here.